the feathers also refer to hair. So what we have is we have a red, hairy, or flying man. Red, hairy man is Esau. Now, if you go to Niagara Falls and the Horseshoe Falls, um, Niagara Falls is considered to be the wedding capital of the world, and we're going to find out why. If you take Niagara Falls and place it on top of the Horseshoe Falls, you have a chair. You have a very large chair. You have a throne. You take um, Goat Island, and the letters in Goat spell Toga. G-O-A-T becomes T-O-G-A. Toga means robe. You take the Bridal Veil Falls, and you take the Bridal Veil, and you put it with the robe. Now you have a person sitting in a very large chair, which is a throne. You have the bride in wedding dress and veil. You take the word island, and... You take the I, the S, and the A, and that spells Isa. Now, you take the letter L, which is the 12th letter of the alphabet. 12 backwards is 21. The 21st letter of the alphabet is U. U upside down becomes N. The N crosses out one N. So, now we just have the letters N, D. We turn the, the N upside down, it becomes a U. We turn the D upside down, it becomes a P. The word island spells Isa up, which I just gave you. Isa up in the air. Then we have the word falls. So you have to understand falls is like fall, slip, and fall. So falls is slips and falls falls, but the S crosses out the other S, so we only use one, so the word slip, the letters becomes lips, lips means kiss, so now we have a bride um, in her wedding dress and veil sitting on the throne, and we have her saying that Esau is up in the air, and I gave you Esau up in the air, we take the two bridges, the Peace Bridge and the Rainbow Bridge, we take the rainbow off the Rainbow Bridge and we place it across the chest of the bride. That is her sash. Rainbow is the the rainbow flag means gay. It's the it's the, the flag of homosexuals. Okay, so now we take the word peace. Peace from Peace Bridge. Peace just means piece of cake. Piece of cake is the wedding cake. Isa comes and he brings Calvary. This is Christ and the two boards. I've showed you this before. In the crown of thorns, we take Christ's body and we put it this way. We take one board and we place it here. We take the other board and place it here. We take this part of the crown of thorns. We place that at the bottom. We place the thorns atop here. And what we have is stick our finger in there. We have a diamond ring. We have a wedding ring, which Esau is bringing the bride. The bride has the flag of Israel, which is the star of David. You take one stripe and you just bend it. You take the other stripe and you bend it. And you take the star and you put it on top. And it, too, becomes a diamond ring. So we have the marriage of the Lord and the bride. Esau has come for his bride. Esau has come for their bride. But let's just take my name, which is Lisa, L-I-S-A. And I know that L is the 12th letter of the alphabet. 12 backwards is 21. The 21st letter of the alphabet is U. U upside down is N. So they're, they're the same letters. They cross one another out. So really, my name is Isa. And pretty much... Excuse me. There you have it.
if the bride is sitting there with a rainbow sash, then Esau, representing homosexuality or, or gayness, then Esau must be gay in order for them to be coming for her, which is the bride. So once again, people, I tell you what's happening in Syria right now. Flashing red lights, people. Emergency alert. I am appealing the decision that Jacob has the blessing. If my videos, my knowledge, my intellect, my understanding, my wisdom beyond your understanding, the things that I know that you can't possibly explain or explain how I would know them unless I am truly blessed, then I guess I am Esau and the blessing is mine.